Welcome to Backwoods Pursuit. Today I'm going to show you how to use a cable style bow press. This one is the Bowmaster, the 6 inch version. Comes in also a 4 inch option. But this one's a 6 inch that I'm going to be working with today. And the way this works is going to be very similar for any cable style press. So these are a lot less expensive, of course, than a bench style press. And they're going to allow you to take it into the field so you can work on your bow out on the trailhead if you need to, if you have an issue with your bow. So let's go take a look at how this works. If you like our content, we sure would appreciate you subscribing to the channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, as well as on our website, backwoodspursuit.com. I'll put a link to the products here in the video down in the description, so check those out if it's something you're interested in. Let's go take a look. All right, so one of the first things you need to determine when you're working with the Bowmaster Bow Press is what kind of, of bow you're gonna be working on. There's different limb styles that are gonna require the use of a different attachment possibly depending on what you're using. So I'm gonna be using these uh, extra brackets here and they, they make these for a couple different types of bows. But for mine here, I'm working on the Bowtech Realm SR6. So the way that this is going to work and compress the bow for you is this latches over the edge of the limb just like that. Uh, and then the cable is going to attach right on this end right here. And so that's you do that for both sides of the bow when you're working on this. Now in some cases, if you're working on bows uh, like I have in the past, um, an example might be the uh, Matthews Helium. Um, depending on the, the con configuration of the limb, in some cases, you will go ahead and use just the end of that and go between your limbs right here and press it down like like that and the cable will go from one end to the other. Now in this case because it, to do that you would need to have that the, the pressure point down way down here on the lower end of the limb you don't want to do that. That's why it's much better to go ahead and actually required to go this way with this extra bracket that you can pick up. Most of the styles of bow presses out there, the cable presses like this, offer some different configurations of brackets that you can use so that you're not going to damage your bow. Obviously be careful about that. Make sure everything is, is as it should be before you press a bow. It's always good to back the limbs out a little bit so you're not maxed out on the poundage. That does help make the pressing easier and some brands even require that you do that before you press the bow. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up now so we'll have that in place. I'll get the other side in place and then we'll get the, the cable set up. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that the width is set properly with these adjustment points. This is on just one end of the cable, um, but you can see each of these little uh, metal stopping points that are gonna adjust the width, the axle to axle length for your particular bow. Now the way that this works as you can see on the end of this, that little one end is wider than the other and that moves back and forth like that. So to adjust it, you're gonna go like that. And then once you find the width that you want, you move it over to that end and that locks into place. All right, so to get the first side set, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down through there. And on this bracket, you can see there is a place for that string right there. That's what that's for. So that's gonna, that goes down through there and you want that to look like that once it's locked into place. So you can either do that beforehand or once the bracket is on, whichever is easiest, to get that locked into place like that. And then we go to the other side and we'll do that on the other side as well. And as you can see, once that first side is on, you can see these stopping points right here and you can tell where about where I want to be on this particular bow is on this one right here that's going to give me the, the width that I need so I'm going to grab my rubber stopping point and move that all the way up to there move it there to the right the correct width next I'm going to feed the cable right here down through that bracket and again you can either do it this way or you can do it you can pull the bracket off and get that cable set first in place then put the bracket on whichever is easier it is a little bit easier to put the cable into the bracket and then the bracket on the bow but either way whatever works for you 
Um, so now that's ready to go. All right, once you've got both of the brackets on and the press itself set to the width that you want, uh, that is needed, I like to make sure that my little homemade bow holder here is in place with, with a, a clamp. That way the bow's not moving around. As you can imagine, if you didn't have this little holder here, then the bow would be all over the place and be really hard to work with this press, since that's why I built this. So it's time to press the bow now. Um, as you can tell, or as you can imagine, doing this by hand, it does work, but it's just a little bit of a, a challenge. So a little trick that I've found is I grab my drill and go ahead and put that on the 5 8 on the end and just go real slow. It makes it a whole lot easier. And you don't have to obviously do it very fast or anything, but that is, allows you to go in and out with that, that screw a lot faster, a lot easier than cranking it by hand. But you can do it by hand, it's just a little bit of a pain. So that is the Bowmaster bow press. That's how it works. It's pretty simple and pretty easy to use. It is a little bit cumbersome if it's going to be a press that you use very much or very often. It does work, especially for the cost that it is. It's pretty cost effective and it enables you to do work on your bow without having to spend a lot of money on a press. So we sure appreciate you following along here today. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button for us if you like our content. Join us again next time for more tips and tricks.